It's 56 past 10. It's a Saturday night. This is where last night's daily vlog ended. This is where tonight's daily vlog starts. It is Saturday night in Oyster Bay. Probably the busiest this area will get is on a Saturday night right now. We are right at Oyster Bay now. This is, remember I did a dog leg and came back up Oyster Bay Road. Well, now I'm almost back to where I turned off from Phillip Street and we are gonna see all of Oyster Bay shops in their glory. Mind you, there's not much glory on a Saturday night at uh, almost 11 p.m. But I will show you the scenario here. By the way, this curb, there's two skate stories to be told here. First one is this curb here. Me and Grasley used to session this. Doesn't look like anything now, but we used to skate this curb. That's the run up from up there. We used to fang down here and hit this. I'd do nose slides and slappies and Grasley would do front side grinds. Perfect spot to skate here at night. Over here you've got the post shop, liquor store, ha hairdresser. Here you've got a little supermarket chain. Um, there used to be another one, oddly enough there used to be another one right here and now that's a, a takeaway joint. And here it looks like a pharmacy. Yeah, you've got Oyster Bay Pharmacy there. And there used to be a takeaway, um, like a fish and chip joint down here. There's a news agent, New South Wales Lotteries Commission. Ah, this is now a bakery. Oyster Bay Bakery. Well, if I, if I need to do a seeing Sydney suburbs on Oyster Bay, and I gotta get a meat pie, this is where I'm gonna come to. The Oyster Bay Bakery, there you go. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump across the street because there is, so this area here, the Oyster Bay, this is the center of Oyster Bay, and this particular spot was a mecca for skateboarding. Back when I was, I mean, every story I tell from this era is when I was like high school age, so 1993, 92, 91 through to 93. But this particular spot right here, doesn't look, look like anything at all, does it? This curb right here. Now I'm gonna put the light on full so you can see it even better. This curb here. The run up would have been up there. And you'd fang down here and hit this curb. And I am gonna just turn that down a little bit. I'm gonna park my butt on the curb because this curb has a lot of history for skateboarding. This is Oyster Bay Road, goes all the way through here. At the end of this road was where Matt Spring and Scott Spring lived. Now, Scott Spring and Matt, mainly, mainly more so Scott than Matt, were both um, powerhouses in skateboarding. Scott Spring still is to this very day. He is still blazing as hard as you could imagine. Lovely dude. His younger brother, Matt Spring, was kind of like more of a street skater. Scott was more of a vert ramp skater. Back in that day, I was more street. Matt Spring actually dug this curb out. You can't tell now, <laughs> it's completely normal now, but this was all dug out of the back and he painted it red. So he painted this whole curb red and everyone would skate this and like board slides, slappies, all the tricks on this curb right here. It's hard to imagine that it's just a regular curb. Unfortunately, there's no photos from that era, but I have a photo of Mob on a jump ramp. We put a jump ramp right here in this little driveway and that's Mob doing a crooked cop 